this video we're talking about divisibility and some of the tricks that we use to say whether or not a number is divisible by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or 10. There are a lot more divisibility rules than we're going to cover here, but these are the ones that you're going to use most commonly because you're going to be looking to see whether or not a number is divisible by some of these lower numbers here. So we're going to talk about the divisibility rules first for 2. This one's going to be the most obvious out of all of the divisibility rules. It's just if the number is an even number, then it's going to be divisible by 2. The way that you know for sure if it's even is if the last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So if the last digit is even, then the number is divisible by 2. So because all of these numbers here, 120, 126, and 128, have an even last digit, 0 is an even number, 6 is an even number, 8 is an even number, and is included in the set 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, we know that all three of these numbers are divisible by 2. So we can go ahead and say that these are all divisible by 2. Now what about divisibility by 3? Well in that case the trick that we're going to use is we're going to add up all of the digits in our number and see if the sum is divisible by 3. So in this first number here, 120, we're going to add up the digits. The digits are 1, 2, and 0, so we're going to add those together. 1 plus 2 plus 0 is 3, and 3 is divisible by 3, so 120 is divisible by 3. If we add up the digits in 126, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 6 is 9, 9 is divisible by 3, so 126 is also divisible by 3. If we look at 128, we get 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 8 is 11, 11 is not evenly divisible by 3, we would get 3 and 2 thirds, 3 doesn't go evenly into 11, so that means that 128 is not divisible by 3. What about the divisibility rule for 4? What we're going to do is look at the last two digits of the number and see if that number is divisible by 4. So in this example here, we have the number 120. We're just going to look at the last two digits. In that case, the last two digits is the number 20. Since 20 is divisible by 4, 4 goes into 25 times, that means that 120 is also divisible by 4. So that one's going to be divisible by 4. If we look at 126, we're only looking at the last two digits, so we look at 26. Is 26 evenly divisible by 4? No, 4 doesn't go evenly into 26, so 126 is not going to be divisible by 4. If we look at 128, we only look at the last two digits, 28, and 4 goes evenly into 28, it goes in 7 times, so 128 will be divisible by 4. 5 is an easy one and should make sense to us. We're just looking for numbers that end in 0 or in 5. So 120 is divisible by 5 because the last digit is a 0, but 126 and 128 are not divisible by 5 because the last digit is not a 5 or a 0. 6 and 8 are not 5 or 0. So these two numbers are not divisible by 5. Since the divisibility rules for 2 and 3 are pretty quick, we like to use those as tests to figure out whether or not the number is divisible by 6. If the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then it's also divisible by 6. Since 120 is divisible by 2 and 3, we know it's also divisible by 6. And since 126 is divisible by both 2 and 3, we know it's also divisible by 6. However, since 128 is divisible by 2, but not by 3, it's not going to be divisible by 6. The rule for 7 is a little bit harder to remember, but here's what it is. We take the last digit in the number, so for 120 we take 0. We multiply it by 5, so 0 times 5 is 0, and then we add that result to the rest of the number. So here the rest of the number is 12, so we take 12 plus 0 and we get 12, is 12, that result, divisible by 7? No, it's not, which means 120 is not going to be divisible by 7. Let's take an example that does work here. Let's look at 126. Again, we take the last digit, the last digit is 6. We multiply that by 5. So 6 times 5 gives us 30. And then we add 30 to the rest of the number. So we take 12 plus 30, we get 42. And we say, is 42 divisible by 7? And in fact, it is. 7 goes into 42 6 times exactly. So 126 is going to be divisible by 7. If we look at 128, we'll see that it won't work. We'll take 5 times the last digit, so 5 times 8 is 40. 40 plus the rest of the number here, 12, gives us 52. Is 52 divisible by 7? No, it's not, so 128 is not going to be divisible by 7. The trick we use for divisibility by 8 isn't really a trick at all. We're just looking to see if the last three digits of the number are divisible by 8, not individually, 
but together as a whole number. So because we're dealing with three digit numbers here, we're looking at the whole number, the last three digits. So we say, is 120 divisible by eight? In this case, it's not really a trick. But if you had a number that was much larger in the thousands or the millions, you could just take the last three digits of the number and say, is 120 divisible by eight? So instead of dividing through the whole number, just look at the last three digits. In this case, 120 is divisible by eight. It goes in 15 times. So we're gonna say, yes, 120 is divisible by eight, which means eight's also gonna go evenly into 128, but it's not gonna go into 126 because 126 divided by eight does not give you a whole number, but 128 divided by eight does give you a whole number. The rule for nine is very similar to the rule for three. You just sum up the individual digits, and if the sum is divisible by nine, then the whole number is divisible by nine. So we add up the digits in 120. We say one plus two plus zero gives us three. Three is not divisible by nine, so 120 will not be divisible by nine. If we add up the digits in 126, we get one plus two is three, three plus six is nine. Nine is divisible by nine, it goes in one time obviously, so 126 will also be divisible by nine. Here, if we take 128, we say 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 8 is 11. 9 doesn't go into 11 evenly, so 128 will not be divisible by 9. And then 10 is really similar to the rule for 5, and it should be an easy one. It's just if the number ends in 0, then the number will be divisible by 10. So 120, because its last digit is a 0, will be divisible by 10. But 126 ends in 6, not 0, and 128 ends in 8, not 0. So those numbers will not be divisible by 10. So these are just some of the divisibility rules. There are many more, but hopefully these ones will help you be quicker when you're trying to figure out whether a large number like these three are divisible by some of these smaller numbers like 2 through 10.